store, they have the same product, but it's 50% off the suggested retail price. So in some cases, you'd end up paying more for it at the um, closeout store than you would at the main store. So the things that I'm going to show you first are the things that I found at the main store. I got the Susan Wingate designer paper pad um, from K and Company, and this is an older one. And I got this one for $6.46, which I thought was a really good price. But the colors in this are really pretty, very spring, um, very floral. There's lots of, it's double-sided as well, but it's got this um, really pretty pink and yellow floral pattern. Um, lots of bright colors, but they're still kind of distressed, muted looking. They're all double-sided. Um, again, this is really, really pretty. A lot of these look like um, watercolor paintings. So a lot of florals here. Really pretty. Love these daisies. Lots of pinks and oranges and yellows and whites. Love this one. That one's really pretty as well. Love that with the butterfly. <clears throat> I thought these would be really pretty to fussy cut around and do some layering. That one's pretty. I think I have this one actually in another set or something very similar to that page. Um, this one's really pretty with all the different flowers and colors and the butterflies. And so I got this one. Like I said, that one was six forty six, And then I picked up, they had a lot of the older, um, they had a pretty big Prima section and they had a lot of the older um, Prima stuff from last year. So most people have seen this one. I won't go through this, but this is the recollection or the reflections pad. And I got this in six by six. It's more heritage heirloom type colors and patterns. And that was $4.99. So that was, I thought that was a pretty good price. They did have some of the new um, Prima stuff. So I got the a la Prima paper pad. I think this one's from last year's collection. This may be this year's. Um, it was 8x8 eight eight and it was $9.99. This is the yellows and the blues. And I'm trying to challenge myself to use more of these colors because I don't use a lot of yellow and green. Oh, and then you got some free stuff if you spent a certain amount of money. They're just like little uh, sentiment strips. So I got several of those. So I picked up that one for $9.99. And then, oh, this came from um, Joann's as well. This is the Susan Wingate K and Company. Um, the uh, what do they call this? The die cut mat pad. So it's just the same paper collection. Um, it's just got the it's cut like laser cut. So it matches the K and Company stuff that I bought from Joann's. So, and then I got from, this, still at the Scrapbook Superstore, they had some stamps um, that were in their clearance section. I got this one, which was $1.49, and I got it just really because of that hello sentiment there. And then this one, which is the American Crafts Terrace Collection. Um, I liked this banner, this happy day, the charming sentiment. And then the little tree was really cute as well. And then this one is also the American Crafts brand, and this one was $4.99, and it is, I don't know which collection it's from, Enjoy, maybe? Um, so I got it really for the sentiments, and then the borders were cute as well, so I got that one. And then I picked up... Um, two distress pads, 10 volts distress pads. They were $4.99 each, which is more than I would normally pay for them. But I did not have tattered rose and frayed burlap. So I wanted to go ahead and get those. And then I picked up some Jolie's Boutique. These are very dimensional. Um, I thought these would be really pretty on tags or layout. And then I got the f foliage that I figure I can... Um, use rub and buff or something if I wanted to change the colors on those. So I picked those up and they were for $3.99 a piece. Um, I got one of the sh Prima Shabby Chic Treasures. I didn't have these birds. So I picked those up. They were $3.99. And then I picked up this other older Prima, um, their sprays. 
This one was $4.99. And I think that's all I got at the main store. Um, yeah, that was all from the main store. So then I went over to the clearance um, store and they had some vintage Prima stuff. And you guys might laugh when you see this because you'll remember, if you've been scrapbooking for a while, you can remember how old these products are. But they were 50% off, so they had these uh, purple, like, lilies. And they were originally $3.99, so I paid 2 bucks for them. thought they were kind of pretty. Um, and then the little baby roses, paid 2 bucks for those. And then old vintage Prima. These are, um, I don't even think they had names for them back then. No. But these are just, like, um, pink and white daisies. I figured they, they were kind of flat. Um, they were two bucks, so I could put those on layouts. And I got them in the cream and purple. And then I got two packages of them in this kind of brown and cream color. So that was my um, haul from this weekend. And then this might take some of you ladies flashback. This is the kind of free stuff that they gave you over at the clearance section because they had so many die cuts and stickers and they had walls and walls of stickers. Um, so, you know, I won't use this stuff, but this is like the free stuff that they give you. So, um, 